Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm Zeke, and welcome to the Dream Green Show. This week, we're gonna be taking $100 and do option trading. I'm gonna use this never lose strategy called put credit spread. We're gonna be doing it on SPY three times this week to see what kind of return can we get on $100. I'm shooting around 10% on one week, so if I can make $10 off of this $100 in the next week, 10% in one week is a hell of a game. But enough talking, let's get straight into the video. Welcome back YouTube. I'm gonna turn this $100 into a little profit this week. I'm gonna be using the token symbol SPY and do put credit spreads on SPY over in the Robinhood app. So let's pull up the Robinhood app right quick to explain to you guys exactly what I'm going to be doing over the next week. All right, guys, here we are. It is Friday. My account is up 1.4%, up $209 on Robinhood. Over the last week, I'm up 2.13%, $433. In the last month, I'm up 11%. Thanks to um, Tesla, I'm up $2,123.30. So my Robinhood account is doing pretty good so far. But let me explain to you guys exactly the strategy I'm going to be using this week in order to try to get a 10 to 15% return on my investment. The tickle symbol I'm going to be using this week is SPY because they have three options every single week that you guys can trade and I'm going to be doing a put credit spread on each one. The reason I'm doing this is because SPY took a little dip this week. It's down 0.06% after being up almost 1.7%. SPY follows the S&P 500 and it does is not very volatile. It kind of trades sideways even on a great month. It's only up 2.47%. So it's pretty safe that this stock is not going to go dramatically up and it's not going to go dramatically down. So I'm going to be doing put credit spares on SPY. The lowest SPY I have been over the last month is around 300 three, around $300, okay? So if we're going to trade, hit trade options and then the one that's ending on Monday is July 27th. Then I have one ending on Wednesday, July 29th. And then I have one ending on Friday, July 31st. I'm gonna be doing an option trade on every single one. The one that we're gonna look at first is July 27th. I'm gonna hit sell put and scroll down. So the share price right now is $321.09. Since SPY went down this week, it's a good time to put in a put credit spread because it might not go down any lower. The option that I have selected now is called the sell put. If I click on the option 319 sell put right there, that means I'm obligated to buy 100 shares of SPY at $319. That means if it falls below $319, I have to buy 100 shares of SPY at 319, but they were creating my account $104 because you're obligated to buy 100 shares. If it stays above 319, I would just keep the $104 and keep it moving. But let me show you guys why I can't do that. In order to do that, you need a minimum collateral of $31,000, of over $31,000. So I can't do that. So the strategy I'm gonna use is called the put credit spread. And let me show you guys exactly how do you do that. You wanna hit the select button at the top right and make sure that you have sell put selected. I'm gonna scroll down. I, I do not think that SPY is gonna fall below on by Monday below 315. So the lowest it's been over the last month was 300. I don't think it's gonna go all the way down to 300 over the next two days. It took a whole month in order for it to recover from $100. So I'm gonna go around the 315 mark. Actually, I'm gonna go around the, I don't think that SPY is gonna fall below 315 actually. So I'm gonna select 315 right here. And now uh, let's play it safe. I'm gonna select 314. And then what you wanna do is hit buy and then select 313 right below it. And then that is gonna make it a put credit spread and I'll be getting the difference in between 20 cents and 27 cents, so around $7. I'm gonna hit continue and there you go. If you did it right, it should say put credit spread. If you did it wrong, it might say something ridiculously crazy, maybe a put debit spread or something like that, but this is a put credit spread. I'm gonna hit review, hit one, review and then they're gonna hold a collateral of my $100 right here. They're gonna hold a collateral and I'll be credit credited into my account immediately 
seven dollars if this contract goes through so i should get seven dollars for this contract while they're holding 100 dollars collateral if it falls below 315 314 they're going to take my 100 dollars and keep it but i do not think that spy will fall below 315 by monday and once the monday day ends and it's above 315 i'm going to they're going to give me my 100 dollars back they're going to give me my 100 dollars back i keep the seven dollar premium and now I have $107 and then I'm going to repeat that on Wednesday and then I'm going to repeat that on Friday. So I'm going to be doing this three times this week in order to hopefully grow my account. If I could get $7 each time, that is a 21% gain in a single week. That is insane. A 21% gain in a single week. So then I'm going to go ahead and swipe up so this contract can go through. There it goes. Let's give it some time. It should be placed within the next couple of minutes. I'm going to be back Friday and let you guys know exactly how this goes, how this plays out. And hopefully I turn this $100 into around $121. And we're back YouTube. As you guys can probably tell with the smile on my face, we successfully turned $100 into $120. I had a 20% gain. 20% gain in one week from doing put credit spreads. It's not the safest option trade of all time, but it works. And you can make it, I mean, you can be risky with it if you want to, or you can make it safe. So I'm gonna show you guys right quick all the trades that I made on SPY on doing put credit spreads. I'm gonna show you again how did I set it up and what percent chance of, of profit did I take in order to have a 20% gain in one week with just $100 on SPY. So let's go ahead and dive into Robinhood right quick. So here we are on Robinhood SPY did go up 1.5% in a week. So that is a that is a big growth for SPY to go up well 1% in a week. But it did also drop down half a percent almost half a percent this week which was good for me because i'm gonna tell you guys why it was good for me in a little bit but that was good for me i got in at a good price and it went back up so to show you guys my profit right quick let's do show more all right so here we are on all of my history i actually profited 23 dollars i just didn't have three dollars laying around the house so my profit was 23 dollars i did a sell on monday which i made a profit of six dollars in credit i did a sell on wednesday which i had another profit of eight dollars in credit and then I did a sell on Friday, which I had a profit of $9 in credit, which comes out to be $23. So I'm up 23% in a single week just from doing put credit spreads. Now, let me show you guys the strategy that I use in order to accomplish this. So we go back to SPY right now, it's at $326.44. All you have to do is hit trade option, go to Monday. So they have one expiring on Monday the 5th, Wednesday the 7th, and Friday the 10th. If we go to Monday, in order to do a put credit spread, I usually look for an 80% chance of profit. Last week, I was doing 90% chance of profit. So you can make a lot of money if you want to, but it's a little bit more risky. I was playing this safe, and I still came up 23% in one week. So I look around an 80 84% chance of profit. And what you'll do is you'll click select at the top right. Here goes, here goes one with an 84% chance of profit. Right now, it ends Monday, so I don't think it's gonna go down to $320 over the next day or so. All you wanna do is click on sell put option right there, and then you wanna switch over to buy a put and put the buy put right below that. So you're buying the option at 70 cents and then one at, you're selling an option at 70 cents and then you're buying one at 58 cents. Then you're gonna swipe up. All I have to do is hit review. It's going to give me a, a credit of 12 cents. You hit one, you hit review, and then it's going to ask for a collateral of $100. That's the $100 I was telling you guys about. It'll take my collateral of $100. It's going to credit my account $12 immediately. And if SPY stays above $320 by Monday, they're going to give me my $100 back. I still keep the $12 and then I'm going to do another 87 to 90% chance profit put credit spread for Wednesday, take that profit and do another one on Friday. So that was the strategy that I used to come up 23% in a single week. 
Now, the reason I say this one is not the safest is because if it do somehow have a flash crash and falls below um, $320, I will still be credited the $12. I will still keep the $12, but uh, Robinhood would take my $100 and basically keep it. Or I could sell it before the option ends and try to make most of that money back, but it's gonna take that $100 if it expires below $320, they're gonna keep my $100 for collateral. They're gonna keep that and hold on to it. Well, they're just gonna keep it, they ain't giving it back. So that was the strategy that I used in order to come up last week on doing put credit spreads on Robinhood. Now the safer way to do this will be to use the wheel strategy. All you do, you'll buy, you'll just sell puts on SPY. Let's say if you sell one at 80%, now, now you'll keep the $84 for profit that send you $84 straight to your account. And if it falls below the $321 strike price, you will have to buy 100 shares of SPY, which is not bad to hold on to 100 shares of SPY because once it goes back up, you can just sell it. But as a put credit spread, if it goes below that price, you're stuck like Chuck, you're out of money. You're, you're not gonna get your $100 back. But if you just do a sell put and it falls below, you'll end up with 100 shares of SPY. You'll just wait for it to go back up and then you'll sell it. All right guys, so that was how I came up on SPY last week. Am I gonna continue to do it? You bet I am. <laughs> yes, I'm gonna continue to do it, but I'm gonna be a little safer with it. I'm gonna wait for the price of SPY to drop a little bit. And once it has that, that drop, that one day where it drops, I'm gonna do a put credit spread on it because it, it it helps me out in the long run when the price is low because the time, the chances of it going back up is higher than the chances of it going back lower. It could go down, but I would get more bang for my buck when the price of SPY is lower. If you guys want me to show you how to do the wheel strategy, make sure that you go down and hit the thumbs up button. It really helps out the YouTube algorithm a lot. Your page just a little bit more. And then I'll be able to do the wheel strategy and show you guys how to do the wheel strategy on Robinhood. But if you don't want to miss out on any future videos, make sure you scroll down, hit that subscribe button. But other than that, I'm Zeke, bringing you the Dream Green Show, and I'm out. Peace. Ooh, I get that piece slow, and I'm out. Peace.